Okay, uh, back on the exhaust port a little bit. I, I didn't actually get this part, but the exhaust guide was protruding up about 250, about a quarter inch to a, a hair above it. And what you had was uneven pour of the aluminum on each side of the guide. So what I done was I went to a, a, a rough carbide. I actually went to this one right here for cutting steel cut it and leveled it down and then rolled on the sides and then uh, I take the, the big burr and try to roll off and pull some of that in. Now it has to go once you do that it has to go you have to turn the head around and that's what I'm fixing to show you in just a minute how I come in roll this pull that in with the big burr and 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 get it to shape in because this is a major aerodynamic thing getting this guide on the exhaust straightened out because that's where most of our work's done and yes there's our there's our cutaway right there that's where the hole for the tube is and the cut for the blending where we straighten that out so I'm, I'm going to be showing you in just a second how I roll the opposite side and then we're going to go from the exhaust guide to the one that's really going to get the work. The intake guide is a, just a damn mess and there's a lot of cutting and blending and rolling that to shape that guide. The guides have to be done. Uh, before I can do the valve job. The reason for that is that cutter's down there near the seat area and uh, the grinder sometimes the shaft might hit up against the seat. So all the guide work, I try to get all that done and any heavy material removal in the bowl before I do the valve job and pull out of it, okay? So let's go ahead and focus on the guides. I'll show you how I turn it around. We know that this much of it's already done. We'll pick up from here and then we'll go to the intake guide. Here we are on the uh, upside where the guide is. Let's try to zoom in there and see what we can get. Adjust my camera a little. All right, now you can see how, okay, I come in here and I flatten, but I tried not to dig too much out right there. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going with my with my big whopper bird. I'm going to start at the very bottom down here and try to roll it. Now I'm doing that to pull the hump, the boss where the guide is. I'm trying to pull that in so that when the air gets up, it won't have such a dramatic turn as it's trying to bank off of the roof. Now right here I'm real careful because I'm going to have to lower the head. Right now I got it caught so I can, so I can blend it like, like you're seeing me blend it right now. I'm going to have to pull the head down to hit the bottom of it. All I'm trying to do is show you. Now, that's all I'll do with the big one. I use the small one to come in here and touch the sides, but I'll take the big one, straighten the head flat. I'm going to pull it around. Let me back up. Okay, I'll take the head and pull the head down so I can come straight in and blend the back side of that bowl with it before I switch to the small one. Boy, she's starting to come into shape, isn't she? I mean, this thing is really starting to look good right here the shape of that guy wait till you see the mess i'm fixing to have to contend with on the intake port it is just horrific but like i said it's all about 
once you get the head straightening the problems because they're selling it cheap enough that you can afford to go in there and finesse and, and get it right and the bottom line is at the end of the day when you bolt them on your car what's the total amount of money that you spent on this all right let's go on to the next step uh which will be lowering it hitting the bottom bowl of the guide shaping it and then we'll turn it around and the real fun begins on the intake part i can't wait to show you how much of a mess them intake guides are now we're on the back side of the bowls so there's a big lump of metal right here and man they were really uneven on all of the ports and all i'm going to do is lightly take the edge of the burr and try to come in here now you gotta watch that seat man that'll sure get you and try to roll it down like i said some of them were worse than others so um some of them were up tall and down. You're trying to get it where there's a little consistency to the roll. See, you want to lead in before it hits that guide and tries to roll off of it. And then you got this that I'm doing right now. Just allowing me to pull the contour of the guide, to pull the roundness of it so that it blends into it. to roll it in to form a more aerodynamic shape and a radius is in your blend that really picks the airflow numbers out without having to remove a lot of material across sectional areas. All right. What we're looking at right here is a core shift situation in the head where they put the seats in. If you notice, I was blending the short turn <coughs> Look at that patch right there of uh, untouched casting. Now, as in here, I'm using my big ball, excuse me, my big egg, and I was in here cutting. And what you're seeing uh, is where the seat is sticking up, and there's a bad overhang there. Look at that, look at that. This horrible overhang, kind of like on the Pro Comp head. And that's where they didn't cast it with enough meat so that when they put the seat in, you got this horrific drag going on right here, which is clearly, I mean, just flat out indicated on the, uh, the gray area. That's cast, see it? And when you bank off that, it should not do that. You shouldn't have to take the grinder and dig in. And this is where it comes in that where I have to go in there with my steel carbides and this is a dangerous game here and cut on that seat to where you get aluminum protruding up to the seat so that you don't have this overhang and on this head here to be perfectly honest with you because KMJ would not send me a head to saw up so that I could see the release pressure of the seat it's, it's kind of like, I'm not saying going in there in the dark, but I've heard of a lot of the big block China heads releasing the seats. Now, this problem was supposed to be cured a few years back, but it kind of wreaks havoc with you. This ain't a good thing right here as far as the port, uh, uh, port shape balance and, and, and air exiting the combustion chamber. So I'll have to draw a compromise of how much I go in here with a um, steel carbide, actually trim the seat, 
and then layer it and come back. I don't know if I can get it all or not. It just depends on when I'm cutting it, how much seat I'm able to take out and remove safely the way that I do it. But I wanted to point that out to you because had there been enough aluminum in the head, and this, is, this was true on every one of these seats, all of them had that horrific overhang of seat over the aluminum. Whenever you laid the grinder, see, it would have touched that. But as you can see, it makes me have to go in and hit it, which I'm not going to do because I know that that's wrong to dig on it. And I'm going to have to go in there uh, with the carbide after I complete the valve job and retouch that. So I just wanted to point that out. Now, on the back side of the bowl, guess what? Plenty of meat back there. Wasn't a problem. Didn't have to touch the seat. That's a course shift situation is what they... Uh, got going on where there was more meat going this way than that way on the head and you can tell because it affected every seat this one that one the one over there all of them it's just the same picture so anyway that just wanted to point that out to you that pretty much concludes the exhaust port uh, all I do on the floor when I turn it around is just take the casting off of it there's no material removed on the bottom of the port at all of course, the next step, if I was staying on exhaust, would be to take this and go to a 3 8 egg to do the final trimming and blending and pulling it in before I got ready to hit it with a sandpaper and polish it. But we're, I'm keeping this burr on the grinder because I'm going over here to the intake guide. There's major butchery work going on right there. All right. All on the exhausting.